Hi, Kelly here at Cochrane Toyota. We're located at 8 River Heights Drive, Cochrane, Alberta. And today we've got a 2018 XC60 plug-in hybrid to show you. So this car is exactly the way you want it. Just real clean, not a whole lot of damage showing on this guy. There is one small accident on it, um, just under a couple of things, three grand, somewhere in that range in the back here. So again, fixed very well. Um, insurance companies don't replace it or don't fix anything anymore. They replace all the stuff. So um, a couple little spots you can see like right there. You just see a couple little things on there. But other than that, this thing's in tip top shape. Again, the plug-in hybrid, this is an all wheel drive. That plug-in hybrid is going to get you about 40 kilometer range and it's you know a few hours overnight kind of uh, plug-in so this will be your kind of a daily commuter gets you most of your way to uh, work in electric um, which is a nice option another little kind of small rub right there you can take a peek at that one but overall this bright silver is in very good shape the um, tread on this tire is very good i think it's a brand new set of tires on this guy as well it's again good looking set you're gonna have your led Headlights right there, so again, the nice daytime running lights in this guy. Again, Volvo top-notch car, lots of nice accessories on this. You look in the front there, you've got your um, parking sensor, so again, if you get close to a, a wall or something like that, it's gonna be an audible sound for you. You can see you've got a camera right up front there. It's got the 360 camera on this guy as well. Nice clean, clean windshield there for you. You're gonna have your cameras up front. They're gonna give you a lot of different extra functions on that guy, and then panoramic roof on this one. Really nice loaded up vehicle. So lots of nice accessories on this guy. It is smart key technology. So you're gonna have the smart key on this guy right there. All your buttons are on the side, um, but lots of good little options on this guy. So we'll jump in the back here, kind of show you what's in this guy. <coughs> Press the button, let the thing open for you. It actually opens up quite quick for uh, an automated one. <coughs> when you take a peek in the inside of this thing, super clean. You're gonna have your tonneau cover right there that's gonna give you the, pri the privacy on there for you. Inside here, you're gonna have your plug-in for your um your hybrid system right there your electric system so if you look it's actually just a regular plug-in it's not the superchargers or anything like that but this isn't a pure electric car so you don't need them but again it's going to give you that ability just to plug in overnight and then get most of your way back if i hit this button i'll press it right there you can see i have a lock button there as well i can press it and it will lock behind it so i don't have to worry about it um, we'll jump into the back seats here you'll notice these guys do have little buttons here to, to lock the button no matter where you're at so you just hit the button um, right there and then wait for a second reach in behind and it will unlock the doors for you nice option when you get into this guy you'll notice that it is a top-notch luxury vehicle so you've got the soft touch everywhere right there power windows and then you take a peek in the inside of this thing it's that um, suede um, centerpiece there with leather in there and then the two-tone stitching as well really nice seats and then again that panoramic roof really just sets this thing up especially for the back occupants that's a really nice feature for them back there it makes it feel like they've got a little bit more space they do have heated seats in the rear as well so right there you're going to have your heated seats and then again nice um winter style slush mats in the whole setup you're going to have your um seats to lock right there so you can pull these things down get your nice storage through here nice mid-size suv with lots of space in there nice option when I jump into the driver's seat, first thing you'll notice is you do have blind spot monitors right here, so these things will turn bright orange there for you. When I open this guy up, you take a peek of the inside here, you're gonna have, again, your power windows, power locks, power mirrors. They do tuck away when you have that set up, so they do fold in for you. Um, and then memory seats, big option there for you, especially if you have two different size drivers, nice option. Before I jump in the inside here, I'll show you where that plug-in is. So if you press this button right here, you take that cable, plug it into that spot, and then plug it into your wall, you're good to go. When I jump into this guy, you take a peek at the seats. First off, you're gonna have lots of different available options to move this seat around. As you can see, there is a lot of um, space to move and more of a sport seating in this guy. It gets you nice and tight in there, um, but really a nice option. So back, forward, and then your lumbar and a couple of the seats in there. On this side here, you're gonna have your gas, your locking gas tank the trunk, and then of course your dim on your on your lights there as well. So let me jump inside here and show you a couple of the options. Now that we're on the inside of this guy, you can tell right off the bat that you're in a luxury car. Lots of nice um, premium features. Again, you have an, almost an aluminum, brushed aluminum piece right there. This is a nice little, you know, almost glass, but definitely a harder resin or something like that, but really nice option. Push button start right there. But if you take a peek at this guy, it is just a phenomenal looking vehicle. Whoop, there's my hand. See if I can get that out of there. At the end of the day, awesome rig. Let's start with a steering wheel here. Right off the bat, you're gonna see you've got your controls for your cruise control right there, and the settings on the inside right there. You're gonna have your voice command on this side, 
And this is a telescoping steering wheel that does move up and down. You do have your um, button underneath that you can just move it where you need to. You're going to have your paddle shifters right there. So again, this thing does have a good amount of oomph in it. Um, it will go. Nice leather wrap steering wheel all the way through. It's a nice thick size there. So again, it does feel comfortable all the way through. This does have the R um, designation in it. So again, nice nice extra up, uh, upgraded options in here. Everything you can see, even just little pieces like that. Full aluminum rather than the plastic piece right there. Um, but again, we'll turn this guy on. It's got a unique way of turning this thing on. So you put your feet on the brake right there and you just turn this guy that way right there. Full digital screen right there. You can see that I'm sitting in the driver's seat. Nobody else in there. Everything else in that is all digital there for you. So you can scroll through some of, some of the stuff on this guy. Um, lots of cool little options in there. You can see your traction control. This does have um, park assist and the whole entire works on this thing. So it is a technology forward car, especially being the plug-in hybrid. Um, nice option right here. So if I open this guy up, you're going to have your USB ports in right there. So two of them um, in that spot. And again, a nice easy access to the whole works right there. This guy does tuck in forward here. You're going to have your cup holders all the way through. Um, and again, nice space in there to be able to stick what you need to. There's another little spot right there as well um, for change or whatever you may want to put into that thing right there. A couple things I noticed right off the bat, driver mode, I can adjust how I want this thing to drive so I can change it to sporty, whatever I prefer right there. Um, and then your driving mode. So if I take this guy and put it down, it goes into drive. Same thing, put it forward, it goes into, into um, uh, park. And then if I go into reverse, you can see this thing's got a 360 camera in it. And I can actually tuck in and see the extra area. So if I want to just press that camera, I can see forward um, and back and forth. I can go all the way around. Now you can hear it's beeping because there is something coming up behind us. You saw those little lights pop up as the car drove right behind. So again, a lot of nice options. I'll throw this guy back into park. Um, and then again, with the stereo in this guy, there's a whole heck of a lot of things you can actually do with this thing. So we'll jump into current position. So your satellite's going to be right there. Um, navigation systems all set up. Bluetooth device is super simple to get into. You can just press in Bluetooth device, switch it all up there for you. It's touch screen, really nice and smooth. It's actually smoother than my phone is. You can do the sense um, uh, setup right there for your Bluetooth, the whole entire works. Download center will allow you to add more apps and stuff like that. Messaging is going to be your uh, messages from the car as well, itself, but it also reads your text and messages to you and you can dictate back to it. Apple CarPlay hooked up into this guy as well. Driver performance is going to tell you how well you did in the electric mode. Let's go back to this side here. And again, lots of different functions that I can go through in here. Charge mode, hold mode. I can change a bunch of different things. I keep going down here. And there's even wiper um, service position. So again, if I do this, I need to service it. I can set them up and the wipers will actually sit there and stop so you can service whatever you need. And then click that and go back to. So again, nice little options throughout. But again, very high end. Um, you can even see there's hardly any glare on that thing. So they've done a really good job of that guy. But overall, you take a peek and up here, you just tie into everything. So again, a really nice um, no mirror or no, uh, what do you call it now, frame mirror right there. So again, just a nice option. You do have on call and SOS right there. So worst case scenario, you need to chat with somebody, they'll get you. Again, inside here, you're going to have that soft material in here to keep things from rattling in there. Owner's manual, the whole entire works. And you take a peek at this guy, just an awesome all around car, just super comfortable to sit in. You can definitely see long trips in here with that sunroof and the whole works. Awesome all around vehicle. Again, one small little collision on it, uh, but it fixed very well. And again, low kilometers on this thing. And again, plug in hybrid. You're going to get about 40 kilometers to a charge. It'll allow you to do most of your commuting in electric mode. Anyways, come on down, take a peek at the Cochrane Toyota.